Hey, it's Leisha from Caught by Design. Today, I wanted to show you a little tip and share some silhouette magic with you on how you can alter, um, in this case, a font, but it also works with some designs to get more use out of them. Now, obviously, it's not going to work with all fonts. This is a particular font that has um, both an outline here and an inner portion. But because it is constructed this way, you can actually get three different looks from it. Now, this is the Love Struck font. It was a recent freebie from Font Bundles. And um, if you type it out, you'll see that you have to use all caps to get this look. If you use lowercase letters, it will um, put in the glyphs. And also in your text style panel, it may be a little bit hard to locate because it looks like this right here because it's got those lowercase letters. So let me show you what I mean. If we choose the love struck font, click on my text tool, do the love struck font, click back here on my workspace. Now this is going to be in capital letters, okay? But if I just use a capital L, but then a lowercase o, see I start getting these glyphs. So right now I have this typed out in just all capital letters. And I'm going to fill that with some color so you can see what I'm going to do with it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this is the font just as it is typed out all uppercase, the word, the two words love struck. And I'm going to duplicate that. Right click and choose duplicate. And then I'm going to release the compound path. Again, just right click and choose release compound path. Well, now you see that the inner parts just show the red cut lines. So let me just select, well, it's, it's grouped, so I've got to ungroup it. And I'm going to first just choose the purple part. So I'm going to click on the, the, the orchid or purple uh, L there, hold down my shift key, and click on each one of these letters. And in fact, I think I'll just do the word love, and then right click and group. Do the same thing with the S-T-R-U-C-K. Right click and group. And then with that selected, I'm going to hold down the shift key, click on that first grouping, and group them again. So I have one group made out of two other groups. And I'm going to slide that down out of the way. And you'll see that it left this. But look, I didn't pick up those middles of the letters that are called counters. So let me go back. It might help if we change the line color to maybe black. And I'll move this to the back. So object, arrange, send to back. And that way I can see those counters a little bit better. So let me select that inner counter, hold down my shift key, that inner counter, and this group, this group. Okay. Now I think that'll work if I slide it down. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. Okay, so I've got all of this right here. And I can do it either as individual letters, right click, choose make compound path, or I can do a word at a time, right click, make compound path, or I can just do the whole phrase. But now remember, once you have made that a compound path, then, or release the compound path like we did in the first step, you, it's not editable text anymore. It, it's a, a vector image. And then I'm going to go down here 
and remember how that's a group of two groups. I'm going to ungroup that and ungroup it again. Ungroup that again because that way I can make this one into a compound path, make this one into a compound path, and make this one into a compound path. And you can group them or you can make them all a compound path, just whatever you want to do. You could even play around with them a little bit, have some fun. Make some of them different colors. It just gives you a little bit more versatility. Group that. So let me show you all of that one more time. I'm just going to get rid of these and I'll show you from the very beginning. I'm going to take the text that I originally typed out, right click and choose duplicate. And then I think what I'll do is um, take that color out, change the fill color to transparent so you can see the lines a little bit better. Then I'm going to right click and release the compound path. Right now they're still all grouped together. So if I ungroup them, you'll see every little piece is going to be its own separate path. So if I take my uh, mouse and click on the outline of the L, hold down my shift key, and do the outline of the O. And this time I'm going to go ahead and catch those counters. So I'll do that. And I'm just going to go through here. Let off my shift key too soon. Okay, with them all selected, I'm going to right click and choose Make Compound Path, and I will just slide that out of the way. But then these are all still little individual pieces. So I either need to do it a letter at a time or a word or a phrase at a time. If you want to be able to move the letters around individually, you need to make those a compound path individually. Otherwise, you'll just have to keep releasing and making new compound paths. going to just make that one a full compound path so you can see it. And then you can fill them with color or just do whatever you want to do with them. I hope that helps and I hope you'll play around in Silhouette Studio and then come back and show me what you've done. Thanks and have a great day.